Hey guys, it's Annabelle from The Free M's and it's another one for the Getting Fit playlist. I'm in Primark again, checking out what they churned out for this season. Uh, or autumn winter we're in now and this is what I found. This is much more comfortable than the other number that I wore over the summer. Chest covered, legs covered, more of, uh, arms covered, more of the thigh area covered. But unfortunately what I got was an XL. Well, I needed two XL. What I got was a large. I need an XL. 4 50 for the bottoms, £5 for the top. Fantastic. Now let me talk to you a little bit about my journey. I now need to focus on finding a gym closer to where I am a full-time student. Yes, I do. So, gym's on hold for the moment. Exercising in the hotel where I am is on hold at the moment. Exercising outdoors is just not gonna be a thing in my life. <laughs> um... Eating, oh my God, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had a whole lot of McDonald's for free because of the uh, new offer that they've got on and all the lunches I've been happen having with my mom. So, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's breakfast on the go. Like for tomorrow, breakfast is a croissant and a freaking latte. I know it's not the healthiest, but with my circumstances, how they are and my priorities, it's just too hard. It just, the time isn't there. If I think about the current circumstances, when it comes to belongings and when it comes to hygiene, the time just isn't there. And now I have a timetable for the next semester. I'll talk more about that on Friday, getting paid a little bit, but I just don't know how to fit it in. <gasps> and it's making me scared because I want to be a fit woman, a fit pregnant woman, a fit mum, and a fit wife. By that I mean physically fit. I know I'm approaching 40, but it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's making me think that I'm completely just being unrealistic. How do you mums fit it in? Because I for sure want to be physically fit before going on to being pregnant. Whatever process or path I take when it comes to getting pregnant I guess we'll talk about that next year but there's no way I'm going to go another nine months being this overweight like I said I'm fighting the urge to go low carb low calorie the dietitian has given me a set amount of calories to eat and I think I'm going lower than I actually have and also I have a physiotherapy appointment tomorrow and I don't want to miss it I have, no long, I have no idea how long physiotherapy takes, but it's conflicting with my timetable. So I guess I'm telling you guys now, I'm gonna have to call up and try and see if I can get another date because timetable is just conflicting. I'm so, 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 so disappointed that the physio was quite important. So who knows, if I win the lottery, maybe I'll be able to go private. It looks like this journey to getting fit is not gonna happen unless I go private. I've spent the whole of year one and three months of year two with hope and faith that the NHS, I can get what I want on it. Meaning I need to assess the damage to my heart, my lungs, my liver, my cholesterol, my blood pressure. I need to assess the damage that I've done, kidneys from low carb, no carb, because this is a dramatic amount of fat cells that has increased on my body and it is just stressing me the fuck out. So what I'm gonna try to do, guys, is I'll try and make a compilation, I'll try my hardest to make a compilation for you guys of what it is to keep on top of your nutrition when you want to get fit and hopefully I would have found a new gym so that I have more time to fit it in because before it was so easy just to get up at half six but then the finances restricted me and restrained me and put a stop in the, in the works so I just have to be patient guys be patient with me in in nine months you used to see a a healthier body at least a size 16 
At least I should be a size 16 in nine months. A fit size 16, not a wedge muscular size 16, but fit and healthy at least. Okay guys, have a fantastic rest of the week. And I do hope that you'll join me again next week, Monday, on Getting Picked.